Welcome, all you lords and ladies of fate. You have once again found yourself in the only Twitch TTRPG stream, uh, and you can at me on that, that allows you, the viewer, to impact the stories being told on your screens. In order to do so, you must spend fate chips. Those are our loyalty points you earn just by watching, following, hosting, subscribing, or even engaging with us in chat. Use those fate chips to heal your favorite players, summon in custom items, or make your players say silly things. You can even force the adventurers into random encounters. Tonight we are playing Star Trek Adventures. Aboard the USS Norway. Q? Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, yes, welcome everyone. I'm glad you could join us tonight, albeit a bit late because, well, what's the phrase about tech people? They're only human, after all. And, of course, the continuum delights and fragmenting hard drives. It's, it's practically in our job description. So uh, what I want to do to uh, get everyone everyone uh, rolling here uh, is to hand over a little bit of trivia to get your uh, your juices flowing, get your synapses firing, as they say. It takes a while for you uh, biochemical organisms to warm up. And uh, so in that case, who was not a time traveler in the Star Trek universe? Oh, you're not. No, I know you're not a time traveler. I know you're not a time traveler. Uh, was it Mr. Spock? We have voting in the polls. Uh, Mr. Spock, Jonathan Archer, Garrett, plain and simple, not uh, plain and simple time traveler, Catherine Janeway, or Quark. And who among them is not was did not follow time in a nonlinear fashion? And it's 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 like lots of lots of quintuple negatives on that who did not not do that so how is our poll doing has anyone got a, uh, got a who's actually trying to vote yeah as it stands right now uh janeway leading away uh with four votes garrick at three uh and archer and quark uh both have one uh well garrick remember and you can all vote are now tied. Spend those loyalty chips. You're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna flat out tell you. You're gonna need to spend some loyalty chips because y'all wrong. Y'all are. Y'all are just having too much fun with this one. Are we sure any of this box? Any of this box? Baby Spock. Any of this box? No. Uh, no one has voted for any of this box. None of this box. Spock gets no love. They just know he's got temporal stank all over him. Uh, what are those in? The Doctor Who universe. What was that? What was the indicator of a time traveler in the Doctor Who universe? Anyone remember? Never watched. Never watched it. What? Sorry. There's just too much. It's too intimidating. I'm really. It's too intimidating. There's there's literally like like thirty years worth of content there. I can't. I can't. It's why it's why I won't go back and watch Critical Role because there's just too goddamn much. There's too much of that. There's too damn much. The the uh, the trivia is too damn deep. Well, see now the uh, the trick there is do what I'm doing. Uh, you know, watch one of the campaigns uh, when you're at home and listen to the uh, another uh, on your commute. Okay. I'm current. I'm currently like up to episode seventeen in campaign one, and episode fifteen in campaign three. See, the the continuum can't watch this because we fear the Matt Mercer effect. It is the only thing more more powerful than the board. <laughs> it forces funny voices into play. So how how did we do? So with the poll ending in about ten seconds here, uh, Garrick seven. leads the way uh, with seven votes. Janeway uh, coming in behind with four and three, two, one. Poll is over. Garrick uh, uh, re uh, winning the poll with seven votes. Okay, Nathaniel, tell them what they've won. And why? You, you you win the knowledge that yes, Garrick never went back in time. That we know of. Uh, that we know of. Like he did go into a vision of Odo's brain. That sorta of could be argued as time travel, but not really. Oh he did? Yeah. It was it was during uh Odo's solid years. Whoa. Oh, okay. It was yeah, Vic Font was Vic Fontaine involved? That's the only time I know. No, no that was uh, that was um, 
alternate dimensions. Okay. Mirror universe. <laughs> that was an MU fictional team, which is creepy. Uh, so just bringing us back. Uh, yes, once again, uh, just to give you the graphical representation that you did indeed uh, have the right thing. My goodness, I don't know what happened to my my audit, my feed there. Um, but uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to rejoin uh, uh, an ensign who is who's been tasked by his superiors who failed to grasp his his stick to itiveness and his insight and his just sheer gosh darn talent, Mr. Jenkins, uh, and also his incredible level of political connection. They have failed to grasp all of these things of un, uh, unspecified political connection at this point. Um, and they have him, Mr. Sivik has him scrubbing, scrubbing the main deflector dish, which as I recall was damaged uh, when a cloaking device was uh, penetrated and damaged and uh, cloaking generators were knocked. I believe the words you were looking for then is when Lieutenant Desmond broke the fucking thing. That is how I put it. That, that was not my fault. That was, yes, I did that, but under captain's permission. Oh. Well, suddenly. But the engineer does not know this. Yes, he does. He does now. <laughs> yeah, out of character, the engineer does not know this. In character, yeah. Oh, by the time, uh, like, I'm going to make the argument when you, by the time you get uh, back, uh, Civic will have traced it back. Oh. Oh, I like the idea that he'll have figured it out. And that's that's going to be interesting. Um, but we, we rejoin Mr. Jenkins, who is all alone in his suit, scrubbing oh. with his toothbrush. Oh, you, you, you'd think in this century they'd figure out a better way to do this than to send somebody out here. But I guess here I am with my trusty toothbrush and my, hey, suit, I don't ever recall the tech manual saying that you could talk. Perhaps there are many things that are not in the tech manual, Ensign. Oh, yeah. I've had I've had chief engineers tell me that before, that it's all, not always in the tech manual. Perhaps there are other things that are lacking in your understanding of the current situation. Would you like a review? Yeah, like, for starters, uh... How, how do I fix this thing? We'll get to that later. Oh, oh in, okay. In case you are unclear on some recent happenings, I would tell you that Lieutenant Desmond poked a hole in the Romulan cloaking device, and Catbag is currently leading a security team to meet the breaching pods that have been brought into Shuttle Bay 2. Oh, oh. Uh, if you look closely there, if you scrub under that contact and realign the rhodium contacts, I think that'll be very beneficial. Oh, oh yeah, I, rem I remember this part. Yeah, that, yep, yeah. scrub, scrub. So an away team beamed over to the Romulan ship to retrieve the intermix articulators and an isolinear decoupler. They found the carnage of cybernetically augmented saurians say that three times fast cybernetically augmented saurian cybernetically augmented saurian cybernetically augmented Sa you know what i feel better already i thought that you would uh check that position relay would you i think it's uh i think you should brush under that oh okay right under the right 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 here that's good perfect yeah slowly slowly oh, oh, oh i'm sorry I, I was just trying to hurry so the team slowed the self-destruct, and Lieutenant Desmond was able to gain temporary control of the Romulan transporters and create a side-to-side -side transport to the main engineering section. Ensign Wiegman, remember Ensign Wiegman? Oh, yeah, he's a great parties. Certainly. Ensign Wiegman holds the record for longest caretaker for the captain's turnip he had some nasty gi issues and felt that the captain 
should be made aware of his predicament. Oh, he gets those from time to time. Yeah, they're no good. He was quite green under the gills, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Suit, you're so funny. I've been told. Now, just twist that diachromatic monopolar coupler 23 degrees to the right so that you can get at some of the dust there. All right, 21, 24. Oh, I went too far. Oh, go back, go back. Oh, okay, there were one degree. Okay, 20, 23 degrees. Just one degree away from success. And that's what my mom always used to tell me. Your mom was a wise person. <laughs> Uh, and welcome back. Uh, with that bit of summing up that I'm sure will not fit in any recap time limit. Oh, definitely uh, not. <laughs> definitely not. But honestly, it was much more worth it. Uh, whoever wrote that really deserves a daytime Emmy, don't you think? And now we apparently have Ensign Weed Man instead of Ensign Wee Man. How long do you uh, give it before someone scrubbing a deflector dish with a toothbrush ends up on string, uh, Strange New Worlds the rate we're going? Actually, two of the ensigns have already been assigned to that. Uh, it's the, what was it? The transporter pads. The pants, transporter reassembly pads under the watchful eye of Mr. Kyle, who is apparently so mean. Because Ensigns now now go to Hogwarts uh, in Strange New Worlds, apparently. And again, I wish to say for the record that Strange New Worlds needs to simply stop watching our broadcasts and stealing many, many, many a frighteningly parallel number of our plot points and our character uh, traits. This is just not good at all. Um, but we do uh, have to give them credit. That they can come up with a plot, a story, and lines for all the characters within a, within a few days. Then you got the editing, the yeah, sound, no, and all that. They could, they could put, like, they could go back in time. It's like they could, they could see ahead. They, God, they have time travel. That's how they do it. <laughs> yes, they can completely, they can completely rip off our plots retroactively. I just want to know who the mole is in in the chat. Uh, in the viewing, in the Twitch stream. A VG looks very suspicious, very sus to me about this. Yeah, find the mole in the chat. We're going to have to do Werewolf game one night. Um, I love Werewolf. Yeah. Uh, yes, it'll be it'll be like Secret Magatu. <gasps> we will do Magatu. I think I think we'll do Secret Magatu as a, as a variant of that. Is that like Secret Hitler? Uh, it's like Secret Hitler. Um, I will tell you that some other horrible things uh, happen to uh, Secret Werewolf games. However, what we will do is, do we wish to rejoin the captain on the bridge talking to Wee Man? Or do we wish to rejoin the landing party, who is working desperately to transport over? Transport over? I say dealer's choice. Okay. Okay, uh, Captain is odds uh, away team evens. Evens. Away team. Welcome back. We now have the following standing redemption. Uh, Dino Hershey's kisses. Uh, trait on the bridge is slow self-destruct. Um, when we last left, Lieutenant Desmond had successfully set and initiated. Oh, God, I love it. I'm almost worried. Is this a Dragon Ball Z one? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? <laughs> yeah, this is going to happen. Um, we've already lost. We've already lost uh, Professor Bird. He's gone now. <laughs> I don't know what he's yeah. done. Just making do with what I got. <laughs> looks good. Damn, it looks good. At least you had the good sense not to wear try and wear contacts as part of your character. Um, so yeah, uh, glasses are hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got um, uh, Bahal, and uh, what we're gonna do is um, run the run the site to site transporter. 
And uh, Desmond, you pick the order in which you send people. You can kind of only get them in like one at a time, but in in succession. Um, so that and that's not not terrible. It's just sort of the way that the system's arranged, because um, the the ship's computer will be fighting you every time you take control. So that's why it slowed you down this time. So who gets okay. to go first? I'm going to send uh, Bob over. The XO. Oh, who couldn't do a Bahal imitation as he's as he's being transported off the bridge? Hi, oh, I'm Ball. I'm so cool. Look at me. Ball, ball, ball. Uh, I got little antler. Look, antler <laughs> antenna. I'm Ball. I hope he's watching. I'm cool. <laughs> he might well be, actually. He's got much more yeah. fun things to do. He have does. a frosty bent on us. Yes, he does. Yeah, sending pictures. He doesn't have a cool dog, but you know. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, you know, no, yeah. Um, you have no idea whether the person arrived or not in time, but go right ahead and send the next person. Uh, that will be Ensign Tucker. Okay, sir. Hang on. Hey, well, sorry, I'm gone. Mr. Hershey, do you have anything to say about this? Too late. Like, I do try. Oh, I guess I don't get a sound effect. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> Some of us can't press the button. Uh, Lieutenant Desmond, as you are just about to uh, initiate the second, the the final transport, which will be like you uncoupling and beaming and making it out. Yes, you know exactly what is probably going to happen at this next juncture. A, yeah. um, the door does does uh, as always. The door does uh, manage to force open because they were banging. And I have to locate where the. Where our our uh, nasty friends are? Where are nasty friends? Because they were there. Um, yes, I did. I did say last session that I did seal it, so that's okay. You, you did. You sealed. You sealed it. Yes. No, they just ripped it open. Yeah, they've been banging on it, and and um, you know, honestly, uh, hold on just a second. What I'll do, because you did take precautions and not to. Let me get these guys over here and uh, not to uh, remove your agency. Holy mother of everything. Oops. Nope, don't have that. Okay, so dino piling in. Um, you you My see assimilated Riemann, and also I'm going to spend uh, two threat because you did push, you did you did seal the door. I have to negate that, and that's the price I paid. Um, yeah, so go ahead. They rush uh, as, as Dino comes through. Uh, set my uh, phaser rifle on full and shoot it straight in the face. Okay. That's Josh. All right, so what I'll just need is a quick, I mean, you had time to line this shot up. So yeah, it's a difficulty one task uh, of uh, control and uh, security. You will sample my shit. If you roll a com complication, I will laugh my ass. Security. Roll security? Cool. Sold in there now. I like it, Delia. Didn't ask my dice. Have. Bear with me one second. I want to see if I have something I can spice this up with. Yes, <laughs> I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to use one of my talents, please. Oh sure, sure. What are you going to use? Dead eye marksman. Yep, that'll do it. What any anything oh. your eye is deadly? Oh yeah. So <laughs> that basically turns your difficulty one into difficulty zero. Oh, I thought you could. Oh, does it take one off the difficulty? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. Does it? 
uh, to be to be a jerk. Does it, does it have a minimum on there, or is it just is it just written that way to f me over? Negative one. Does it do negative it's one. one? Okay, I'll I mean, let that. that Makes sense. I'll I'll do I mean, it as a difficult yes. zero. Yes, if you had made this a difficult zero, I couldn't make it any lower. However, uh, oh, yes, I think at that point you get threat every time you roll. You get momentum every time you roll. That's what I would have done. <laughs> anyway, oh. so go ahead and, and plow away at that and see what you want to do. Three successes. Okay. So, uh, did no successes to uh, hit it. And there we go. So five successes pile up. Uh, you have, what, six dice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and if you wish, you can... Um, you can buy additional damage dice with momentum, just the way I'm going to run it. Um, six dice should put most people down. No, this is a big boy, and this, this is a this is modified technology, so even these guys don't have any idea what I'm using. <laughs> stay down. Does it have the modifier and stay down? Yeah, let me. Yeah, it and that's only if I'm doing that. It's it's incredibly accurate. It's so. as accurate as five meters or two meters to the door needs to be. Yeah, no problem. Right, right between so, the eyes. So I got a two, two and two sixes. Two six six. Okay, let me roll the other the other two. Your three. I think you got six dice, right? Yeah. So I just rolled uh, two more sixes. And I only got four dice, sorry. Oh, that's okay. One, two, three. So I've got a two. Five, six. Yeah, six. I got six. So you six. got five sixes. Yes. Don't and a two. And a two. Oh, no, I got that. All right, so each of those sixes, uh, since you have one, two, three, four, five, can you re-roll all those sixes? Because they're automatically a point, and we're just going to do exploding dice on those. Guess everybody can hear the dice. Mm. Rattling in my hands. Shed yep. your pants. Join the collective. And uh, that one's another six and three and three blanks. Three what? Three blanks. Three blanks and one star, please. Oh, okay. I got you. All right. Uh, uh, zero, 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 and one starfleet. So the six and the starfleet uh, roll again. Yeah. Yeah. So you get two dice to reroll. Two more. Yes. The yeah. Start. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go one, ahead. One, the the six. Yeah I, the... yeah, I rolled that and it got a two. Oh, a two altogether. Yeah, because I was rolling the one dice. Okay. So I got a two. You got a two. You also had another. Uh, Starfleet, so that's okay. You can roll that too. Two. Two? All right. So that's two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Were you aiming at uh, Barney? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's the biggest he's big boy right there. Death. Barney needs a death thing. Yeah. Hello, so, that. Barney? Uh, I believe Professor Bird is. No, <laughs> Can we just be friends? Absolutely. Say hello to my little friend. Walk. All right. Um, so at that point, uh, you've wiped out that dinosaur. Uh, Activate, Timu's Activate pants, transport. Pa yes, Timu's pants. Uh, begin propelling him forward toward you uh, at such a rate that uh, it actually folds him in half. So he just sort of goes like this and begins walking <sighs> as if it were limboing under your phaser. No, you see, everyone you assimilate, you get a percentage of their income, and then I get a percentage of your income, and the person who assimilated me gets a percentage of that. You must assimilate everyone you can so our multi-level marketing scheme can be complete. 
No, it's not that. It's it's opportunities. <laughs> you, you're so gonna die. Hey, so gonna die. Also, you need to buy a Bitcoin with it. Absolutely, we only pay in meme bitcoins. Would, yes. Could I interest you in Doge? I like NFTs. So, uh, with the B men, Ensign Tucker, uh, Lieutenant Hershey, uh, what I'm holding on is I'm going to hold Desmond off in reserve because you had a resolve thing. Um, and while I'm here, I'm going to bring that guy over here. So you uh, pop into main engineering, and it looks like there's a, a, a pretty much a borgified ream in here. Uh, uh, Tucker, and uh, I think Tucker goes in first. So <laughs> Tucker is going to have to uh, deal with one round of one round of uh, Riemann. Uh, does anyone want to take uh, charge of RE1? Yeah, I'll roll. I'll roll for the uh, Riemann. Okay. Um, so uh, the Riemann's the Riemann's basically. Uh, I hate to say it, the Riemann's is going to be basically not uh, not doing much. Uh, Tucker is going to be a little shocked about this entire thing, and uh, go, "Oh hell, Captain! Oh, Captain, you're not here! <laughs> oh shit!" Uh, he starts grabbing for his his phaser, and uh, uh, the Riemann, uh If you want to uh, try and act, since I made uh, uh, Ensign Tucker a bit a bit incompetent, um, we have to decide what the Riemann wants to do. The semi assimilated, fighting against his nature, Riemann. Well, um, who's I... So, um, I th my thoughts would be that my first thing went off in my spouse is just crap, but uh, that uh, it was not correct. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, even like Matt Mercer and uh, one, a couple others, uh, Scottish was horrible. Can't think of his name yes. right now. Um, Eric, Eric Campbell. Yeah, uh, he he can't, he can't pull off Scottish either. So, but back to the story. Um, that means good company. That's what that means, right? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Brendan yeah. Lee Mulligan's uh, uh, great at everything. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. One part of me, one the board part of me, is saying they're not really a threat to me right now. So, even the crap alone. Uh, the other part of me uh, is that's fighting with nature is basically like. Somebody help me. But I'm not actually saying it. Oh, okay. So are you um, physically, how does that look? Do you know? Or do you think you can describe what Tucker's seeing then? Uh, you just see uh, like the icy stare looking right at you. And he's just not doing anything. You probably see uh, um, from the unassimilated side, you probably see some eye twitching. And uh, probably uh, right hand is uh, slightly twitching too, kind of like yeah. uh, making fit, like making a fist, making an open hand. Okay. Um, and uh, Tucker's going to going to kind of not be sure what's going on. He's trying to get to his phaser, and does uh, uh, let me see. I need somebody to do evens and odds for me. Odds. Uh, Tucker notices this. And evens, he is oblivious. All right, so Gee, he's got odds. Did I say he's oblivious? Mm, Shit. Roll the nine. Okay, so he's like, okay, you just missed your opportunity, Mister. And he try, and he's, and he he gets his gets his weapon out at least. And at that point, uh, Tucker brings out his weapon. At that point, uh, Lieutenant Hershey. Uh, you come in and see Tucker uh, grabbing for his weapon, and you see a ream in there. And um, in your infinite biology wisdom, 
Uh, you need to roll against your 13 and knowing stuff. And any successes will help. Uh, that's going to be a 7 and a 19. Oh, right. Almost critical. Damn. Uh, you you see this uh, Riemann and looks simulated, and he is, as, as Nathaniel described him, he is jittering in his biological half. Oh, if I'm on so, the other side of him, do I see the Borg implant? Uh, he, he got the look. He has the general look. For but sure. I don't know if you see it. Well, actually, evens are odds. Evens you see it, odds you don't. Okay. Uh, I'll let someone else roll that. Okay, sight, Captain? No? Nope. That's, Nathaniel's got it. No, I'll, I'll let the Captain do it. His roll's always working even. well for him. Even. I don't remember what even was. Even was the good one. Yeah. Even was when you can see the... You can see it? Okay. All right, you see you see him in some a, a, a semi assimilated Riemann. I do sure. Uh, I thought the uh, the chap looked rather pale. Ugh, what a shame! And he's gonna draw his uh, draw his phaser and uh, set it to the highest setting. Uh, what you do here is uh, a slow exhaled voice. <laughs> Species four seven one three threat negligible. Yeah. <laughs> Those things were not an issue. Maybe we should try and keep it that way, Tucker. What? What do you think, sir? Species occasion. Species number seven one four three two. Threat level mediocre. I don't know about you. I'm going to take this personally, sir. I don't know that I much agree with his assessment, but nevertheless, we shall carry on. If uh, it comes a problem. Then... Make sure you care. Uh, one of us is always keeping a phaser drawn on him. Uh, just in case he decides we're a little bit more of a threat than his initial assessment. Okay, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold on to this. And he's got his phaser up. He's a Starfleet officer. He is absolutely confident at it, despite his uh, verbalizations. And uh, in comes... Uh, Lieutenant Desmond, who I don't think is covered in guts of any sort. Not that I know of, anyway. Who is a bit armored up? Well, the, the good lieutenant. Uh, seems we have a friend over here. He's not currently oh, interested right. in us. <laughs> okay, where's the XL? Oh, valid point. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen uh, the, uh, the good commander. Okay, uh, since he's not here, please will you two get to the salvaging and pillaging that we need for the parts we need. Uh, I'll take care, I'll watch this, whatever the hell it is, or mostly... Um, and then try and find out where our XO is because I really don't want to uh, tell the captain I can't find his XO. Great to wait, sir. Captain, do a, captain, do away team is. Um, can I, can I, can I speak to the XO? Where's, where's, where's Ball? I, I, I make sure to turn my head, my help, my helmet cam away. And like, go ahead, sir. Do the ceiling. <laughs> I uh, just want a, a status update. I was uh, It's been a while since the uh, commander checked in, and he's usually a stickler for that sort of thing, so... I'm off to find a commander, Lieutenant. Watch me go! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds um, like you all have your hands yeah. full over there. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, the the uh, XO's communications is a little uh, buggy right now at the moment. Uh, we are working on it. He'll uh, get back to you as soon as he can, Captain. Uh, waiting out. Lieutenant, he's not in this footlocker. I checked all over. Forget the footlocker. Get the parts. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yes. See, he stands up straight at it. Stay away, sir! Oh, I think I... I think I may have found some. Oh, no, that was just an icy blue popsicle. Do you know what I have those over here, sir? <laughs> Uh, for a second, we'd have a hell of a mess. <clears throat> um, I, I'm going to meta hat. Uh, 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 Lieutenant, you might want to close your comm. He did. He, uh, she did say, um, uh, waiting out. Oh, mm -hmm. yep. oh, oh that's okay. my mess. Well, You're good. I miss. I, I, I was. That, that's what mm -hmm. I was looking for. <laughs> I know Q, Q's a stickler for that sort of thing. Yeah, my. my I, my iMod is still transmitting to the ship uh, main view screen, but yeah, I deactivated the, the commu my communicator. Oh, well, that's good because luckily your helmet cam is equipped with everything it needs to do um, closed captioning. <laughs> but the closed captioning, all I'm going to say is the closed captioning is really bad. So what are some of the things the captain is now hearing or seeing transcribed before Lieutenant Desmond notices the text going across the bottom of her her um, uh, reticule? Uh, what are some uh, of the things um, he's hearing? All, he saw straight to the braze, sir. Straight to the braze. What uh, 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 Tucker said, uh, frosted awesome. mini wheats are blue. I think would be one of them. Yeah, I'm not. And look, he's probably not red. But <laughs> and pro probably uh, he's also reading that um, I, that my heart rate is up because I just flat out lied to him. I don't know. That's a medical check. That's that's a, that's a that's a that's a medical call. He's not. He's not paying that much attention. <laughs> Trust. I will tell you though the captain the captain is one of those that needs closed captioning on he 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 loves having it it's great cool it's good for uh, uh for the lieutenant that our our, our chief medical is on vacation <laughs> as the chief security is as well ooh i do like the fact that it's like a like like a foreign film, like one of those Netflix uh, uh, TV shows that's made in like Germany where they took the script and just straight translated it and made that the um the uh the subtitles but it doesn't quite match it's like it, it's you get the point but the words sometimes definitely do not match oh yeah um in this case it may have been this may have been described uh um uh oh man uh this was actually transcribed with the porn version of star trek oh jeez So as you seem point, to have teleported over without your pants, delivery boy. Uh, uh, yes, it's it's called Smash Trek. No, it's, and, uh, it, it's, yes, it's called was, the real Lower Decks. I was going to yeah. say it's just the deleted scenes for the search for Spock. Yes, it's the search yeah, for the fade cock. To block. The fade to, fade to block. Oh, God. Uh, so, block. yes, we've Anyways, got... Anyways, <laughs> let's get away from the board and back to the... Back to the so the, the drone, uh, what we'll do is we're just going to run, I'm going to run a, uh, a recurring die roll on the, on the drone uh, to see if it perceives you as a threat as you do things. Basically, it's, you know, one through five, and it, and it decides it's, it's going to begin uh, some actions because you're obviously not, none of you are making a move toward it. Uh, you're not doing anything threatening. I assume you're not doing anything in a threatening manner. Uh, I'm not pointing my weapon at it. It's still pointed at the floor. It's still set on high, but again, right. it, I, I'm, I'm sort of keeping eye contact on it while I'm moving close to the control yeah. panel. Looking around. Uh, yeah, and you'll probably be, start beginning like scans, I assume. 
Um, as a question on my screen share, can you see the dice I, at all? I, I was about to say we. Uh, it's just a gray box to us. <sighs> it's a beautiful gray box. Lovely, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lovely gray box. Yep. Oh man, should have gone with more beige, considering the you know yes. Star Trek. That's so. okay. I rolled a nineteen and a twenty. I got that out of my system now. So it's good to know I got that done. Um, top tier gray box was my nickname in high school. Sorry. Tier, huh? Oh God. I can. <laughs> okay. Copy to clipboard. This is how I can share my die rolls. How's that? Does that share as a die I, roll? I see it. I see it beautifully. Okay. Those aren't the rolls I'll be using, but that's okay. When I do the roll, I'll just make sure I pop it up there. Like you're going to care. Um, like you can, like, I'm not, like you can trust me. So, um, uh, it's Tucker is going to be, uh, kind of milling around, uh, Lieutenant Hershey, uh, you're gonna, I guess, look for that, uh, fractal encryptor, uh, pro subroutine. And that says something to do with computers. And it's probably a big bank of walls over to your left. Uh, Tucker has got the uh it's right next to the ream and the reman's kind of standing near uh the matter and matter injectors which is where the micro articulators are going to be um so he's going to need to do a little bit of an extended task uh to make this work um captain sykes could i trouble you to run tucker up for this otherwise okay the, the q will be talking to himself and that even after a few thousand years, it, it eventually gets boring. Um, you got it, you, whatever you say. All right, so what he's going to need to do is he's going to need to do five points of uh, repair damage to the, um, uh, to the inducer. And uh, basically he can roll uh, as many dice as he wants, and every success generates a D6 of repair. And then you roll the D6 repair dice, to generate the damage to uh, bring the calipers out. Oh, I was supposed to bring the calipers? Whoops. You're getting the calipers. You're getting them. Oh. Just your bare paws. You didn't bring any tools. I don't recall uh, him getting any tools with him. Nope, Captain said get on my, get on my way. So I did. Okay. We're in, we're in a Romulan engineering, and there's got to be a tool kit around. They use their they use their teeth. They're just that good. They just bite everything like so. Like, uh, I, I look I look at, I look over this and I'm like, seriously, you're doing that? I reach into my pocket, pull out uh, like my mini toolkit. Like here, take this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very really useful. <laughs> you know, I should probably carry one of these around. You you. you uh, you do your thing. I gotta go find the commander. And I start tapping on the keys. Okay. Um, uh, let me see. Um, where are you? So, um, uh, you're starting your scans. And what'll happen next is... Uh, I've got to figure out a way to shut the tricorder off. Uh, Lieutenant Hershey, uh, you do manage to uh, roll. Uh, I think your skill at this is about a 12 to uh, start pulling isolinear chips out. And you're going to need about uh, five successes to uh, retrieve it. Now, this is over time, not all. Oh. <laughs> Now, any your complication range, by the way, is eighteen to nine, eighteen to twenty, will be a critical failure. Okay. Uh, uh, because we're on familiar territory, uh, you got about twelve. Um, your knowing stuff gives you a, a success, a critical success range of one to three. Have I thrown enough numbers at you? Cool. Uh, so twelve is my target. Uh, critical, bad critical, seven, uh, seventeen to twenty. 18. 18 to 20, and then yeah. 1 to 3 for good crits. Got it. Yep. And we have 5 momentum you could spend. I was about to... So, yeah. Or... 
I already got the third dice in my hand. If I could buy a die with momentum, please. Okay, buying a die. How about you buy it with threat? <clears throat> Big sale oh, on dice. Have... God, land in the damn box. Okay, we have a 10, 11, and a 13. Wow, nice grouping. Okay, that's uh, two of the five successes uh, that you required. So the, the chip, you've managed to disengage the safety interlocks. Uh, you haven't tripped anything yet. And you're just, you know, there's a little screwdriver that you found nearby that you can just keep turning. And it slowly brings this, this chip kind of out of its slot. And it kind of is glowing a little bit. And uh, suddenly the ship's computer starts singing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. I want to see us get demonetized for that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Ensign Tucker, uh, you have a similar task. And so this is like each of your guys' turn. Uh, Ensign Tucker, your your task is, I think you have a 13. You kind of know what you're doing. You have a critical range of one to three uh, to the good. You have an 18 to 20, and uh, you need to do, because it's an extended task, you do need to do uh, five damage to the target. And the target, by the way, has a resistance of one. So it has one point of armor, so your first, your first uh, point of repair damage is kind of soaked. Did any of that sink in? Wait, what are you doing? Are you looking at are you looking at someone's dog online? What? Was I supposed to be no. doing something? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to be doing Tucker's job. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's really easy to get distracted. I think I saw a shiny object on the floor. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget you have momentum. We still have momentum we can use. You but the laser pointer. <laughs> <laughs> This is down, the downfall of all Cations and Star. That is why they're a moderate threat, because the Borg have that. And that is actually the reason <laughs> that the Cations are no longer a threat to them. Uh, so uh, you have a 1 to 3 uh, good critical. You have a 13 target. And you have an 18 to 20 bad critical. Each success you generate generates a D6 that you can use for repair because I've made it unnecessarily complicated. Perfect. Let's go ahead and burn um, three momentum for two extra dice. Okay. All right. Well, here goes something. We're oh, boy. That's stuff. really not good at all. What was the? How many twenties did you buy? Only, oh, only one. But I, what was the? What, what what were the crit? What was the critical range? The bad critical range. Eight, twenty. Eighteen through twenty. Well, fuck me. So I got two <laughs> bad criticals. It was one, two, three, for the good ones. Uh, one through three. Yes. One through three. So I got a three and a twelve. Were my other two. So I got the, uh, I got three total. Three Double successes. complications. Oh Double yeah. Complication. Oh man. Can you guys not just not for one, one minute roll like this atrociously? I'm not entirely sure why, why the good captain ever buys dice. He <laughs> only purchased critical fails. So we've we've hit a double a double consequence on this. Um, yeah, at this point, uh, what's happening is uh, first, you know that timer you slowed down is is now run back to running. Uh, and I I feel that maybe Ensign Tucker forgot to uncouple the reaction chamber and stop it injecting uh, matter and antimatter before disengaging and trying to pull the articulators out. The chamber was still alive with matter and antimatter. So uh, what I'm going to need is a security and fitness check 
from the Reman, who will have like a 15, and Tucker, who will have a 12. Tucker has a 12. Tucker has a 12. Let's let's okay. do it. He needs uh he needs at least he needs at least two successes on this. Oh and, well, looks like there's one more momentum for me to burn, so might as well do it. Give me another die. Okay, three dice. I don't know what happens when he critically fails this. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill! So I got a I got a 13, a 14, and a 19. So I got another complication. And yeah, I'm really good at rolling for the captain. I'm really good for rolling for the captain. But the problem is I never roll for the captain. <laughs> yeah, the captain's never rolled for. Um, also the the 19, the that 18 to 20 thing, that was for you just um that was for you manipulating this technology. Oh, so I don't I so the critical range is back to 20 for that? Critical range back to 20. Okay, good. This good. <laughs> Yeah. Still no successes. So, zero successes. Still zero successes. <laughs> but at hey. least it doesn't get any worse. Rest in peace, and Vincent. We hardly knew you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I it think the GM's going to have a better time now. He doesn't have to do this voice all the time. No. Yeah, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, there was... Uh, oh, how did that... How did the post... Sorry, Nathaniel? Yeah. Raymond got a 17 and an 18. So, zero failure. <laughs> zero zero success. So, this really was. Okay. All I can say is, Nathaniel, it's good to see you rolling like the rest of the group. We were beginning to feel like you didn't belong. <laughs> you slotted if right. I'm rolling, if I'm rolling for myself, I'm doing good. If I'm rolling for the board, sorry, guys. Yeah, support guys never make it uh, in anybody's universe. All right, so I'm going to be throwing out 3d6 of damage. Uh, this is... 3d6 of damage? Yeah, it's just 3d6 of damage. To, so that, to Ensign uh, Tucker? Tucker, Tucker the, grabbed a one, a two, so he grabbed three so points of damage. So, wait, hold, one, one, one moment, one moment. But, I would like to cash in my, 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 Q, my Q chip from, from the last stream. That I never cashed in. Okay. Yeah, you have um, two chips and one has been given to, to Nathaniel. Yeah. Correct. The um uh the the good captain knew that um Ensign Tucker was a liability. So um he uh he uh gave him his own little uh personal personal defense shield to protect him from any stupid thing that might have happened. Okay, so he gave him for 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 like a one mission's worth of defense. Sure, sure. <laughs> he just told him. It's like a, it's like the uh, wharf shield when he went to the wild west. Lasts like ten seconds, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm fine." Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think he said, "Ensign Tucker, you're gonna want to activate your comm badge in about a minute and a half." Before you do anything. It's like okay. if you if you feel like pain is about to come, just push this button. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Uh, it's, he just pushed that button. And he can press that button because he's got cat light reflexes. Hey! <laughs> um, the, the nice part of it is that that, that shield is more, it, it doesn't absorb the damage so much as it deflects it. And it channeled that damage over into the Riemann. Perfect. Uh, so that uh, it gives us 6d6 of damage to the Riemann. All right. Figure out to burn these Q chips eventually, and that'll do that. All it right, your chief engineer, he needs all the help he can get. Oh, which one? Wait till I get back on the ship. I'll give you, I'll help. And I helped. All right, so there's a six, one, two, three, four, uh, four points, and the remaining six becomes another six. And that becomes a two. So I think that uh, plunks him for at least six point six to seven points of damage to the Riemann. And that does put them out of action. At least it incapacitates them. Uh, uh, any character with uh, five or more points of damage in a scene from a single attack uh, will become incapacitated. So it does knock the, knock the Borg right out. Um, you know, again, 
this was some pretty slipshod Borg, uh, Borg nanotech that the Romulans had messed with. So uh, he is he is currently out of it. Mr. Tucker, uh, yeah, you can you can decide what you want to do next after the plasma is all shorted out. And the nice part is it took care of all the that that took care of all this residual antimatter in the chamber. Um. Oh well, Lieutenant Desmond. I guess since uh, the commander's nowhere to be found, uh, you're the ranking officer. What what do you want me to do now? Uh, well, first things first. Thank you for el eliminating that Borg uh, problem. Yes, did oh. that intentionally? Absolutely. Make sure you tell the captain. Oh, the captain can see right through my thing here. Yeah, he saw he saw the whole thing. Okay. So, what did the captain hear? Well, you're not you're not staring at the ceiling anymore. <laughs> nope. Yeah, like I said, I I'm purposely uh, avoiding trying to look behind me or like do the whole room scan sort of thing, so he doesn't know that I can't that the commander's not here. Still, and still buying the lie that the that the thing is uh, busted. But yeah, uh, he, he he sees that. Yeah. Um, Hershey's here, and the ensign's over there doing things. The Borg's on the ground, and whatnot. Uh, I tap my communicator, and I say, "Captain, we have uh, I, we have neutralized any remaining Borg threat in this area. We are proceeding to pull." any relevant technology that we need for the ship. Um, on the unfortunate side, I do have to report that the self-destruct is resumed, so we have less time, and we might need an emergency beam out and jump to war. Well, uh, how, much, how much time do we have? Not as much as we'd like, Captain, but we will work very di diligently. We have everybody work as fast as possible. Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make sure we uh, we we have a lock on everybody, including the commander. Uh, and uh, and, and we'll, we'll we'll get you out of there with with time to spare. Thank you, sir. Uh, way team out. Um, what do I need to roll to find the commander, please? Okay. <laughs> 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 what do I do? What do I do? You know, so I can't, not that um, I want to take away from everybody else what they're doing, but I don't want, I don't want to go back to the captain and tell him I lost the commander. Or he's float, he, fortunately, he's not floating in the, hopefully not floating in the abyss. Yeah, I think he, yeah. I hope he had his helmet on. Oh, well, I'm just over here trying to get this, uh, I should learn your chip out like I'm trying to start a, a 1920s Model T. Run, 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 run. I like it just cranking it like a music box. I just, um, I just like how it was, no, 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 and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get it to roll over the one time. He's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> like, uh, uh, just let you know, nothing, you're, you're seeing my notes in chat, right? Let me have a second. I'm parking fine. I never fit in now. Okay. I, I just didn't know. Hands on the shift. Easy. Just, just to let you know, that way you don't have to um, be a parrot on the bridge, as it were. You don't have to worry about, you know, uh, having one job. It's stupid, but you repeat everything the computer says. So I'm just going to put things in chat for you. Yeah, I, 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 I disable the communications to the ship, and I turn to both of them and say, "Move fast. Who needs the most help?" As I sling my uh, phaser rifle over oh, over my back and connect it yep. into that's, the phaser. That's good. I, I think, would I say need three more successes to probably Tucker, right? Yeah, I think Tucker's got the got the roughest. Uh, I don't know, Tucker. How proud are you? Oh, I'm always proud, but not too proud to admit when I've made a mistake, which was agreeing to come on this away mission. Well, Mr. Tucker, I am here to give you as much help as possible. 
What do you need me to do? Oh, I don't think you have the degree required for the help I, I need. But if you want to talk about it, uh, I'm free after my duty shift. <laughs> I don't know what's going I'm on. I'm going to pretend you didn't just insult my intelligence and let... We're wasting time. What? Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Lieutenant Tucker will, I will assist the Lieutenant Tucker with uh, okay. his role using my, um, uh, um, this will be like an emergency thing. Yeah. I got emergency repairs. So as yep. a uh, focus, this, so this is pretty much, yeah, pretty much you're, you're, uh, you're unrepairing something. And I think that's as good as a repair. You're working on unrepairing it. Um, so, uh, Mr. Tucker. Any successes are good successes at this point, honestly. Uh, what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna go through Hershey's first. Uh, Hershey, you've still got uh, three successes required, a one through three, uh, standard range, a twelve target, and an eighteen to twenty complication range. Why I'm doing this to myself, I don't know, because we're never getting out of this alive. We're gonna lose the entire weight team. Be for yourself. I can survive in zero G. I got my own transporter. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Um, yes, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Lieutenant Hershey. Yeah, th this was your chance to do things, Mr. Hershey. That would be a good devil. So I, I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> Got to do another roll. That's literally, that's that's the whole shtick right there. Man. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Give yourself a threat, you cube bastard. Oh, right, you guys burned this out. Uh, what was his, uh, what was it, 13? Targets, uh, targets 12. Right. Oh, 12. Oh, right. He is good. 18 to 20 is bad. So, here's the good part. I got a 1, a 4, so for 3 successes, but then I also got myself a 20. <gasps> you bought that 20, good sir. I bought it with threat. It doesn't count. It did <laughs> what it was meant to do. <laughs> See how that makes it work. Right? <laughs> It doesn't count. I bought it on credit. Just so um, you know, for when Tucker rolls, I set aside the two dice that rolled the 20 and the 18, and I'm going to use those. Redemption roll. Here are these dice. Uh, so, uh, the consequence for Lieutenant Hershey. Uh, you know, do I just really... Here's what I'm going to do. I got a good uh, one. So, All right. Sorry. Uh, Cut your own switches. What? Um, what? What if? What if the ensign that he uh, he got to water his plants while he was away on the away mission didn't do that? And these are very delicate, delicate plants that need constant attention. This is this is like years of research. I know it doesn't affect the game, but you know. You do you do what you were gonna do, Q. Do what you were gonna do. Just leave him. I, I I just like to talk. I would think it. Oh no, we all like to talk. That's our. That's a good part. Uh, what's gonna happen is uh, I'm going to be magnanimous. I do have an option. I can just hold that as threat. Uh, so I can. I this is for a for a uh, a, a a kick in the cojones to be named later. As I believe the phrase Oof. Uh, in the in the player's guide, in the GM's guide for this game, it is one kick, one swift kick, and then adds uh, to be used by at a later date. Uh, Mr. Tucker and Mr. Uh, Lieutenant Desmond, I forgot whether you do go by Mister or Miss uh, Ms. 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 Desmond. Okay, uh, Ms. Desmond and Mr. Tucker. Uh, you're going to be you're going to be throwing things, uh, Desmond. You're a fully realized character, so uh, yours is an engineering, and I'm going to go with either intuition or daring. Either one of those up to you. 
Darren, your insight? Uh, insight. I apologize. Yes. I'll go insight engineering. Since I'm okay, assistant, insight engineering. I only get the so one dice. Uh, yeah, ins uh, you only get one die because you're assisting. Yep. And uh, you're basically going to have to come up with what what intuitive thing did you help Benson Tucker come up with uh, while while he is uh, busy trying to cut some wires? Uh, I'm rerouting uh, power away from what he's doing, basically fooling the system, thinking uh, something else something else should blow up. Let's it. Let's just. Uh, Focus on that for the moment. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, good rolls, finally. Okay. What's uh Tuck is Tucker's target twelve? Is that what I remember? Uh it was actually thirteen. Thirteen? I still got it. Uh two successes. Okay. Uh criticals we're not even worrying about critical. We're the, just worried about success. None of them were low enough for it. Seven okay, was the lowest one I got. I don't think that's gonna be the crit. Sure. Okay, um, Cap, uh, uh, Tucker, you have uh, now got three dice to work with uh, for the, the damage. So throw your 3d6. All right, I guess I'll just whack it with the toolkit you gave me. Seriously? Uh, <laughs> a two. One army <laughs> yeah, a two, a five, and a six. A two, a five, and a six. That's two points plus one more point for the five. That's three. The six is exploding, so uh, roll the six again. Reroll your six. That is a six again. Is it still explode? Or, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's four. Holy crap. You might One. The whole crap. And a one. That's a point of damage. Um, that, believe it or not, is the five. Um, because you basically blew, blew power uh, relays and um, Desmond rerouted things to get them out of your way, that took care of the point of resistance. The coupler is now unattached and goes and comes out in your hands. Surprisingly, all in one piece. Good job. Good job, Ensign. Uh, great work. Okay. Uh, time to go. Uh, yes. Yep. How fortuitous this was. Fortuitous was the word of the day, my word of day scratching post. I thought for a second Yoda had shown up for. I can't. It's, 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 so it's, it's, it's a very fine line here, okay? The worst Yoda ever. That would not. Horrible. Be, that would not be too far off. Um, cat Yoda. Cat Yoda. Yeah. The ears. It's all in the ears. Uh, let me see. Uh, so, yeah. I, I looked at you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I look to Sergeant uh, Hershey and say, okay, we, we got to go. We got our stuff. How are you doing? It's almost I got it, sir. Really? Yeah, I had two successes followed by three. Oh, right. And a complication that was to be named later. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you know what, you know what time it is? Oh, Game shit. time. Yeah, it's later. <laughs> <laughs> I see what As you did there. That, I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> you're doing your whole crank uh, joke. You look at her face and she's like, she she's not happy. She's like, get in the transporter. Oh, okay. Uh, Before I, I shoot you, get in it. Get in the trans. Get in the trans. Get over here. Uh, get over here before I shoot you. Um, let me see. I want to check one thing. Desmond, you still have a couple minutes to ascertain the status of the XO. Captain, you did not hear that? No, no, the captain did not. No, yeah, that's just all, all meta to us. Yeah. Uh, pardon me, sir. Shouldn't we, shouldn't we find the XO before we leave? <clears throat> I press a few buttons and transport them back to the ship. Oh, um, actually... Uh, that's going to be the ship's command to pull that off? Because you were requesting them to do an emergency yeah. beam. Um, I, I, okay, then instead I signal for the captain to beam the crew back. Okay. Uh, captain, that's uh, read four. We're just going to pretend that. Um, what's happening now is we're going to do this. And, and I'm, going to I'm going to require some indulgences. Um, captain... 
Let me see, where's my threat? Okay, whoops. Uh, that's even in the wrong spot for that threat. Here we go, Captain. You can see what I'm doing here, right? Yeah. I'm causing a minor transporter failure, which will allow only a single person at a time beam out. Ah, ah, and I'm assuming the um the 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 Norway is aware of this problem because we're the ones trying to beam out, right? To beam you up, yes. Uh, I don't know if it made glitches. Yeah, Captain, to the uh, away team, we're having some problems with the uh, transporter. It seems to only allow us to beam one out at a time, so we're gonna go ahead and start that process. But don't worry, you've got plenty of time before the mass destruction of the explosion of the ship. Uh, Captain, we got less time than you think. Uh, please uh, start right now, please. I okay. do not use that word often, but uh, just I do. Just please start transporting. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm going to be a, a a dink and say the person who cannot be transported off is Lieutenant Hershey. Uh, so it is up to the captain to determine who comes off first if it's not just random. Although I know Lieutenant Desmond's uh, kind of standing order is that they always be removed from danger last. Am I correct? Well, I mean, yes, but I mean, it, it, as you said, it is the captain's call who they yeah, pull yeah. out first. I have no... If the yeah. captain pulls me off, I'm, what am I going to do? You mean take the ship? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a moment. You can have a moment about it. You know, that that's okay. Um, also, um, uh, Lieutenant Wesks uh, is also going to talk to Captain. Captain, all I can do is lock on to fade con badge signals. I can't really determine who's who. I'm just going to have to pull them out. Well, uh, I can roll the dice and... Start pulling them. We got to get this uh, party on on the move. Okay, Ensign Tucker is evens. Lieutenant Desmond's is odds. Uh, Captain's rolling. Captain Roland is rolling. Ah, the rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Eight. Even. Evens. Tucker, right? Okay. Oh, here we go. We. Uh, Lieutenant uh, uh, Tucker makes back. So, uh, sorry, go ahead again, Nathan. Yeah, I pick up the uh, whatever uh, her, her she had, like the isolating your chips, and do a quick make sure they're all good. I'm like, good, you're ready. And I looked at the uh, lieutenant and said, okay, you got you're next. I say that in character, uh, as I really don't know who's going to be next. Okay, so you're you're taking possession of the chips. Yes. Okay, got it. Um, what I'm going to do now is the dinosaur and uh, Riemann 3 pop through the door. And it is now up to Lieutenant Hershey. It is up to Good Devil as to how this gets resolved. Oh, uh, uh, Lieutenant. And I'm going to uh, hand uh, hand over uh, the isolated your chips. Take these. Make sure they find their way uh, uh, back to the Norway. Tell yeah. uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and I don't. And uh, he's just gonna uh, he's gonna charge uh, 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 Barney Borg and try try to lock, try to ride it. He's gonna try to ride it. He's gonna try and ride Barney Borg. Uh, Professor Bird, would you please be Barney Borg while you're being waylaid by Lieutenant Hershey? Rawr, rawr. You'll have to have plenty of power to carry the weight of my massive testicles. Tell me how! You colonizer! <laughs> so, uh, at this point, uh, Lieutenant Hershey, I need you to roll. Uh, you're not really a combat guy. Uh, you got an 11 as a target. Uh, dinosaur, you have a... Um, you have a 13 as a target. Okay. Whoever has the most successes uh, gets to uh, inflict damage on the other. 
And I'm really happy. A ten, 10 and a 15. Okay, one and success. A six and a three. Okay. Uh, you've you've succeeded through the attack. And uh, what I what I want to do is there is a redemption in chat called Dino Hershey Kisses. And as as Lieutenant Char Hershey is charging uh, Barney Borg, he stops midway because he makes eyes with Barney <sighs> Borg. And oh, I don't know that I've ever seen anything so beautiful. I love and, your accent. Yeah, uh, he's gonna try and you know just pat pat Barney Borg on on uh, you know on his on his snoop. <clears throat> I'm trying to buy buy time for musical cue, but uh, I guess not. Oh, I I totally missed it because I was caught up in my own stupid with the song. Uh what was what was it that you did? Uh, uh, I, I, I am stunned by the eyes of, of Barney Borg, and I just have to try and pet his snoot. Yeah, you, you see, you see it on the, uh, on the vitals on the <laughs> suit that I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Oh, it Captain. looks looks like looks like uh, yes, Lieutenant Roger. Desmond is is not feeling well. So I'm bringing them out now, sir. Okay, Lieutenant Desmond, you beam off. You beam out of this uh, torrid little fair, and it fades to black. And at this point, I guess Snoot and Lips begin closing. I assume. And then we have uh, a warp core explosion, as is required. Oh, and nice. It's... Oh, Bonnie Borg. I'm never going to dance again. These guilty feet have got no rhythm. I know I've been a fool. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to say, I believe the phrase is seen at this point. You know, at the multiverse theory, there is a universe where Star Trek is a comedy. So, I think um I think we move there. I I believe that we have we have basically reached episode 5 of Strange New Worlds. I I still haven't gone back and watched it. Oh, uh episode 5 and 6, I believe uh there was a statement made that this was lower decks and I believe it's actually Strange New Worlds. Uh, it, we're, we're approaching strange new worlds, but uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, at this point, I'm going to return control of things. Uh, everyone is aboard their ships. This whole little sordid affair of Romulan experimentation with the board for now seems to have collapsed in its own fit of hubris and pointy-eared pointy hubris. The fucking hubris. And, and uh, yes, and... And uh, the the crew may be aboard. What is to become of of the hall? And uh, we cut quickly to a, a a scene in a corridor where we man is sweeping, and he finds things in a in a in a janitorial closet, and it is ball. So who can do ball trapped in a closet? Hey, I'm Ball. I'm trapped in a closet. It's cold in here. I like it cold. Look at my antenna move. Whoa. <laughs> I'm blue. <laughs> wow, sir. I wasn't expecting to see you in there. <laughs> what took you so damn long to get me out of this closet? <laughs> well, you know, I was doing a little recreational listening. Don't tell the captain, okay? <laughs> Where's that? Where's his turn up? I'm gonna shoot that damn thing. It's your turn for the turn up. And with that, uh, I return you to whoever is going to do the outro. Whoever has the fortitude left. Uh, uh you want to look, look for the raid there, donkeys? Oh yeah. All right, all right, guys. Well, thank you again for for joining us here at the Lords and Ladies of Fate. We certainly hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw tonight. Thank you to. 
our uh, our game referee uh, uh, Q, and uh, the rest of the cast here. Uh, so uh, for what we got coming up on Lords and Ladies of Fate uh, this week, uh, uh, coming up on uh, well tomorrow uh, off of Lords and Ladies of Fate, uh, make sure you tune in to Billy Wildstar stream. I'm not 100 uh, percent sure if that's if that's going because Nat is still okay, out of town. Well, 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 watch the Discord. Maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. You know, uh, maybe you have a Tuesday night off. Wonderful. Uh, the, uh, coming up on Wednesday, uh, we are returning to the World of Remnant to continue uh, the uh, Ruby Fable campaign where the uh, our intrepid huntsmen. Oh, wait, they haven't left the, uh, the Lost Woods yet, but they are about yay close to getting out of said woods and moving on to actually find... Uh, the uh, the missing uh, hired hey, huntsman. That hey, you uh, were all getting close to figuring out the Romulan plot too. And that was a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly I yeah. wouldn't be surprised if uh, if it's an entire uh, episode on Wednesday of them still fighting, and then the the following episode they're like, oh, we finally made it to where we're supposed to, and then more fighting, and then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing we're probably not doing well. Uh, are are we doing anything on Thursday? Because it's up in the air because Nat might be back from Florida by then. He might not, and it is rifts this week. So if he doesn't show up, it's not like we can throw something together. So we might right. do something. We might do something a little light, like some Jackbox or tabletop or something like that. All right, we'll or make sure we'll have rifts. Who knows? But. Discord. Well, make make sure you uh, yep exactly. Make sure you pay attention to Discord. See uh, what we're running that night. Uh, Friday. Uh, 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 kids on bikes. The 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 uh, the power of pride. I believe. Uh, and Josh. And, and Josh. Uh, coming up on uh, Saturday, uh, we got uh, uh, riffs that return to the uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Megaverse. Uh, that's going to be on six p.m. to eight p.m. And then Sunday, we got our our dungeon, uh, fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons game, uh, Tomb of Annihilation. That's going to be on 9 p.m. Eastern to 11 p.m. Uh, make sure you guys tune in for that, and uh, make sure you come in, uh, come back this same time uh, next week. And maybe uh, if this is your first time watching, you actually get to meet the chief engineer. <laughs> but until next time, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Right. Happy Pride. Oh, I guess I pressed this button, right? You can't press the button. Yeah. This is